Hey y'all, I'm Rosie from Rosie on the House and I'm here with Pete from Green Valley Cooling and Heating from beautiful Green Valley, Arizona. Thanks for making your way up to the East Valley Institute of Technology where we are in the heating, venting and air conditioning training lab. Just a fabulous facility. Wonderful facility, wonderful. We want to talk to homeowners about five things they can do at their home in and around their air conditioning and, and heating systems. Now folks, you need to know, air conditioners and heaters come in several different configurations. We have the rooftop heat pumps, we have the rooftop gas packs. For those, we're not recommending y'all get up on the roof and take care of those yourself. However, if at your home you have a split system with the air handling cabinet somewhere in the garage or in the hall of the house, and then the evaporative coil outside somewhere, these split systems, there are things homeowners there are, can there do. There are certainly things that they can do. Uh, and uh, one of the things that you can do is on the outdoor unit, if you look around the unit, uh, pull away any debris that is collected, leaves and uh, children's toys, keep it away from this unit. It's important that this unit be able to breathe. Um, when you go into the air handler, uh, usually that's in a garage or a closet in the house. Uh, make sure that, that that area is clean. Don't put any flammables in that area, especially if you have a gas furnace. Whatever you store in that closet is what you're going to be breathing inside e the house. Exactly. Old paint, lacquer, exactly. varnish, gasoline. So keep that, keep that area clean. Uh, and when you talk about what you're going to breathe in the house, always make sure that you're changing your filters. Uh, if you don't have a maintenance agreement with an HVAC company, uh, it's a good idea at least three times a year to change your filter. And there are several different kinds of filters. Uh, I'm more of a fan of the pleated high efficiency filter. Me but, too. But, you know, you've got to keep that clean because it keeps the air in your house clean and it keeps the air clean on the indoor unit, which keeps your coils clean. And it's all about keeping everything clean so it's efficient. So we want to change our filters. We want to make sure this unit is free of any debris, or landscaping, trash, rubbish. You'd be anything amazed what, what collects there. This unit. Exactly. exactly. So those are the two things. Um, you want to change your filter. You want to clean around your furnace. Uh, the other thing that you want to do, especially if you have a gas furnace, uh, in your house you have a carbon monoxide yes. detector. Usually it's, it's associated with a smoke detector at least once a year change that battery and it's a good idea to to schedule that with with somebody's birthday that you're going to remember and know that it's time to change that battery another thing that you should look at for air quality is once a year pull your dryer out and make sure that you're not collecting a lot of of lint and dust and if you see a lot uh, it's a good idea to check that vent and make sure that's clean uh, that'll cut down on the energy that the dryer uses and it'll also prevent dryer vent fires. Yeah, dryer lint is extremely flammable, so keeping it cleared out keeps your home safer and as well let your dryer work more efficiently. Five great things homeowners can do. Thank you, Pete, from Thank Green you. Valley Cooling and Heating. Yeah, that, that's always good. It's good. Perfect. Fun.